In this video, we're going to learn about Python functions. So a function is a named body of code that can be called anytime you need to execute the code. And the syntax looks like this in the blue box. It's DEF, which means define, and then it's followed by the name of the function, and then an optional parameter list, which is data that's coming into your function that your code may use. And then you'll have a few code statements that help implement the function, followed by an optional return value if your function is going to return a value. Like if you had a function called add, where you're adding two numbers, you may want to return the sum. So functions may or may not have parameters. They may return a value or not. And a function is also an object with a type, identity, and a value. And the benefits of functions include improved code readability, and avoids redundant code and code modularity. This basically means that, imagine if you had a program where you had similar code all over the place in multiple different places. Instead of having that same code everywhere, you could just put it all in one spot within a function and then call upon it anytime you need to use it. And that also helps prevent errors because instead of changing it all over the place in your program, you just have to change it in the function so functions are very beneficial and they're very commonly used in Python and also many other programming languages use functions. So let's try out an example of a Python function and see what it looks like. So let's create a very basic function in Python. We'll name this function hello. And then the body is just going to print hello world. And that's it, that's our function. It's that simple. This one has no parameters, which go inside the parentheses, and it doesn't return a value. All it does is it prints hello world if you call the function, and this is how you call the function. So anywhere in your program, let's just start the program over here. This is my program. So let's just run it, and notice that it's not gonna print hello world because I haven't called this function yet. So the only thing it's going to run is this print statement that says, this is my program. Now to actually get it to print hello world, we have to call the function by simply saying hello, just like that. There's hello world, I can call it again. There it is again, and you can call it as many times as you want, wherever you want, even before I, I print out this is my program. And then you could see that this little function this is like the bare minimum we could do for a function. It's showing you that you can write the code once and call on it as many times as you want. So this is very useful when you have a very large function and instead of having that code all over the place, if you need to call it multiple times, you could just put it in one function, call it whenever you need it, and if you need to make updates to it, you just have to change it in that one spot like this. Add an exclamation mark at the end. It affects everywhere that it's called. In a future video, we'll learn how to add parameters and how to return values from the function. And we'll even write some more useful functions than just printing out hello world.